when we look at pandemic fatigue, you know, openly going to bars and restaurants right now, attending weddings and funerals, going to the gym, being in public meetings where people are not distanced in any means, going to home events in other people's houses where, oh, it's our neighbors. Well, it's just our neighbors. You know, it's not like somehow they would get infected. And what we have to understand, every time you bring people together, you have just another chance of getting infected. And right now, if I had to use an analogy, somebody said to me, how safe is it to go out for a walk in your neighborhood? Well, earlier this fall, I would have said, well, you know, it's it's quite safe. There is one intersection here. Be sure and wait for the stoplight because cars tend to go fast here. So one out of 10 of the trips are, are okay. This one could be a little bit of a challenge. Today, what I'm telling you, if you go out for a walk with this virus, we're going to demand that you run across an eight-lane freeway with cars going 100 miles an hour. 